I, I just have one final question, and I'd like to show you each. Uh, I found these. I found these on Twitter the last couple of days, and I'd like to ask you each: um, Are you responsible for those Twitter accounts? Absolutely not. No. 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 Mike. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> Mike, did you do this? <laughs> no, I mean, they're just they're accounts that that are just sort of uh, like like I don't know sixth grade humor. Yep, they sure are. That make fun of other people, that make fun of uh, candidate Workman and candidate Mayfield. Um, so my, my question for you again, you can answer this any way you want, but my, my question is, um, you know, and, and you know, if we're trying to set example for our kids, how would I explain what these accounts are to my teenager? And maybe we'll let, you know, Rich, you want to go first? <coughs> I'm surprised that um, Representative Mayfield says that she has no idea who Rich, the at Rich Wrongman is because her campaign consultant called the reporter and said, we're releasing richwrongman.com today, write a story. Uh, is her consult I, I can prove it, so don't argue. No, her, her consultant released the data on richwrongman.com and then spent $20,000 on a TV ad that distorts my record and uses video they didn't pay for to to disparage me. And, and Rich Wrongman, and I'm glad you brought Did you aid, um, I printed it out and uh, richwrongman.com goes through and it, it, it's really fascinating to me, Larry. On it, it says things like, let's look at his record. He, he says in his commercial that he passed sweeping ethics reform and her campaign says that's false. But we, we know that it's not false. Um, I promised to cut taxes and shrink the size of government. She says that's false. The largest recurring wait, tax wait, wait, wait. cut. You keep saying history. she said. Does that have Debbie Mayfield campaign at the end of that? Uh, it okay. doesn't have anything. I know nothing about those accounts. And I and I guess, Rich, what you're under the assumption is that there may not be other people in Bavard County that may not like what you have done. Okay, you're well, jumping a big assumption that I have something to do with this. Only because I your campaign consultant to called do with Peter Schwartz. He called him himself. Randy Nielsen called himself and said, we are dropping this tonight. All the proof I need. Wow. Um, and when, when uh, you, you haven't released the finances for that yet, but when we do, we'll know where the money came from. And it might be uh, Dr. Bob Scaringe, um, which is your husband. Um, we'll see. But um, it's, it's when you don't have a record of your own, the only chance you can, if you're desperately wanting to be in office, is to disparage others. And that's what that site does. It's just, a, it's, it's a, um, it's a it's a hail mary to hope that uh, people won't look to see whether or not she's done a thing in eight years. Okay, and let's let's talk about that in eight years. I've passed fifty seven percent of the bills that I filed up until twenty thirteen when I filed Common Core, which was directly against leadership, and that's when I was punished for doing something that was directly against a leadership. And when you're up in the polls, you don't need to do something such as that. And we are up in the polls. So my positive message of anti-Common Core and of illegal aliens being admitted to the Florida Bar, my message is resonating to the people. There is no need for negative advertising or negative campaigning. So I don't know who is doing it. We are not behind that doing it. The money that we have put of our own money has been coming into my campaign. So the money that we're putting in is of our of my pocket is going into my campaign. And you can see how much money we put into my campaign because of the fact that I'm running against someone that was a rules chair that has collected $900,000 in campaign contributions to run his campaign for the course of the last two years. So, and the money that I have collected has either been my own money or it's been from this past reporting period. We had 118 individual contributions made into my campaign. So I don't know anything about what you're saying on what Randy Nielsen did or what Peter Schultz has did because that is not me. Mm -hmm. And I know Allison Nielsen did an article on Common Core because you said you led the fight in Common Core and she did the research and the Parents Against Common Core came out and said, you were nowhere near Common Core of repealing Common Core. I filed a bill to repeal it in 25, and I took the bullets from leadership for filing that bill because it was a leadership issue, and they did not want that coming up. Members so, file bills all the time. The leadership doesn't like um, it. Doesn't it, it, it? She she makes a much bigger deal about this. Her, her bill didn't get heard because it was unconstitutional. 
it would have allowed 67 different standards. Every county could have had their own standards. It, it, it would have paved the way for that. That is like not a, true. It, it is said true. to repeal Common Core out of the state, out of the school. And because we repealed that. Oh, you're talking about the 2014 bill, the one where we voted to repeal Common Core of the statutes. We didn't need your bill. You didn't repeal Common Core. You took the word out of Common Core out of the statutes. And you can go back and you can ask any of the parents that have been fighting Common Core that knew the issue. Why would I ask the parents, Debbie? We are the ones that write the legislation. You, we we, we write course. legislation based on what the needs of the parents and the teachers are, There's and that's what we're to supposed done, to do. But, we, but let's go back to the fact, we did not yeah. repeal Common Core out of the schools or out of our system. We took and removed the word Common Core out of our statutes, and we put algebra, and we put cursive writing, and we made 97 technical changes. We still have Common Core in our school. We did not repeal it. Go to the Common Core website, and it says Florida is still participating in the Common Core standards. It says we meet so, the standards. Can I, can I get away from Common Core for a minute, Rich? I gave you an opportunity to talk about the uh, these um, Twitter accounts, uh, Debbie. Um, what, what's your thought on these Twitter accounts? I have, n I, I don't know where those Twitter accounts came from. I am not participating in those Twitter accounts. If you look at my Twitter account that I do, that I have control over, it is strictly about the activity that we've been doing in the community, about the people that we are communicating with, about the events that we are attending. That's it. I am not going to get into a Twitter war on something that I have nothing to do with. Nothing. Okay. Mike, do you have any? I mean, you saw these, these Twitter accounts. I sure. Mean, what's your thought on Well, Well, this, this illustrates one of the problems with campaign finance reform that we have. You know, there's no transparency. We don't know who's funding whom. The candidates in Florida are allowed to interact with, with the PACs. Uh, they, they can scheme and do whatever they want to. There's plausible deniability. We have no idea if somebody's telling the truth or not telling the truth. We have, we have Rich, who I respect. We have, we have Debbie, who I respect. Nobody's lying. Don't know who.